With a wild center, this is Lunchtime Live. We're talking about nature and exciting wildlife. Encounters with otters and owls too. From Tupper Lake right to you. Learn about the plants and trees. There's so much to explore and see. Lunchtime Live, it's time to start the show. From the wild center, here we go. Everybody and welcome back to Lunchtime Live at the Wild Center. My name is Chelsea and I'm part of the animal care team. So I spend a lot of time cleaning the animals, making food for them. But one of my favorite parts of taking care of the animals is what we call enrichment. Now enrichment is something that we give to the animals to make them do certain behaviors. And one of the easiest ways we can do that is introducing new things, novel stimuli to their environment. The animals that live at the Wild Center have it pretty easy. There's not a whole lot for them to worry about, but in nature, there would be a lot for them to be concerned about and things would always be changing. But here, things stay the same. You know, these guys know that they're safe. They know that they have food coming soon and that they don't have to work too hard. But every so often, it's good for us to give them something new, something maybe even a little challenging because we want to make sure that their brains stay sharp and that their bodies stay active. So today, you can see behind me, I'm at Otter Falls, and we are painting with three of our North American river otters. Their names are Dawine, Los Nole, and Scarlet. So I'm going to ask them to walk through the paint behind me and paint, step onto these canvases to paint them. Now, it's kind of a weird thing to do, but again, it's all about that new stimulus. And if they do those things that I'm asking them, then they're going to get a reward. In this case, some chopped up trout, which is yummy, yummy for their bellies. So I had to pull the otters off exhibit while I set this up. I'm going to go let them have access to this space. I will be right back. And you guys will probably see them before I will. Of the otters. I'm going to let them know that there's food if they want to come hang out with us. Please come and we're going to see what happens. Hi, so Scarlett is kind of our all star here. She is the otter that we have out that does has done the most painting in the past. So, first, I'm just going to give her a piece of fish without asking her to do anything. And then, Beautiful. Now, the paint that we're using for the otters is non-toxic, so we don't have any worry as they walk through it, and one of the best parts about finger painting with otters is they will clean themselves up. So these guys will dive right back into the water, and there won't be too much that we have to do after that. I'm going to give Darlene a piece of food. I saw him poke his head out. Hopefully he'll come and visit. Like I said, Scarlett's the one who often does painting the best. And that's okay. We're not going to make these guys do anything. It's all if they want to participate. These guys actually just had their full lunch less than half an hour ago. So this trout, this is just treats for them. And so it's really cool that even though they have full bellies, Scarlett is still willing to participate in this. It's actually really awesome of her. Now, like I said, we do this because it's fun for us, but also because it's good for the otters. And I'm going to move the camera down so that you guys can see Scarlett a little bit better. It's good for them because it is something new. Most of the time, beautiful, and you can see she's like, where's more fish? Most of the time, we give these guys more natural stimulation. So different scents, maybe some branches and we make sure that they get exposed to different things that way. But every so often it's cool to do something kind of unnatural because as we know, animals in nature are probably going to experience some things that are human made. Now this paint isn't something that an otter would necessarily experience a whole lot, but they would experience things that they had never seen before. So it's good to get them doing that kind of foraging and exploring 
and in a new kind of medium. It's also a lot of fun for us as the staff. So Scarlett went to go clean off real quick. We'll see if she wants to come back. We'll see. Mr. Davine may be joining us. He's looking from afar. He's a little unsure, maybe about the scent of the paint. Hi, but here comes Scarlett again, like I said, rock star. And bam, right through the paint. That ain't nothing for Miss Scarlett. Beautiful. So, in addition to this being fun for the animals and fun for us, it's also a cool way that the otters can participate in their own care because we actually can help fund our animal programs by selling some of the artwork that they make. So you can go to our store, our online wild supply company, and you can maybe investigate getting one of the paintings that the otters have made today, which is super cool. And we are investigating other ways to give you guys opportunities to purchase the beautiful art that our animals make. So, I am out of fish. That's how quick that was. Otters are like garbage disposals. But I'm gonna give you guys a look at the artwork. So we can see that Scarlett, what do you think? Did she do a good job? I think she did. So. Thank you guys for joining me. I know this was kind of a weird thing to do. Who's finger paints with otters? Apparently I do, and we do here at the Wild Center, and you guys have participated now as well. So we'll see you next time for our next Lunchtime Live. Hopefully you guys are having some beautiful spring weather and you're getting outside to enjoy it. All right guys, bye.